Hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Maker. I'm probably going to call this an episode of Minecraft Land Party. Um, even though I'm not on the server, um, I am in a creative world to test out a gold farm idea because I need to build one on the Minecraft Land Party server. So, and I really like the idea, the, the design, basic design concept behind Snow Crashes. Um, gold farm so so that's what I decided to build so I, I came in here and, and I built it big glass roof need lots of glass um, and then three levels and I built it basically as he describes and then I started playing around with the design making a few changes testing a few things mostly to understand why he had a few things the way he did um, so, for instance, there was one thing where the uh, he had a little bit of path coming out, a couple of it's like six blocks on each layer, on each level, coming out, and just to see how it would affect things, I took them out, and it didn't affect things at all. So I came up with this basic. Um, oh, don't fall! Well, uh, I came up with this basic um, front. It goes on front of each the center point of each level as long as I'm standing on the AFK spot right there um, zombie pigmen they come so so here um, and uh, so I, I simplified the front bit here a bit and I took out on between a couple of the layers I think between the bottom two he had staircases and I took those out because they seem to come from each of the levels so let me do this. Put on hard difficulty. So that's what we have the server on. And you can see the pigmen start to spawn. Let me put myself into uh, okay, mode survival. Let the pigmen uh, um, spawn a little bit. So we're way up above the floor of the 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 uh, or the roof of the nether. Which is where we want to be stuff isn't spawning down below we do get a few medium and small magma cubes spawning but that's fine um and we get plenty of pigments so if i if i come up here and let's look in this direction and i tag one of these guys they got all upset let me turn down the game sounds a bit because they're gonna get loud and as the new guys spawn in behind them, they pick up the anger from the uh, the guys running trying to get at me, and they all just kind of keep coming and falling down. It's really beautiful and it works super well. But one thing I noticed, I've got a few guys standing back in the back over here, and so if I go into creative mode here and fly up over to these guys. Notice they're standing on the back edge. And that's because the size of the ring here gives them a spot that they're just far enough away from me that they're in that zone where mobs just kind of sit and stay. Now I'm, I'm closer over here now so they can start to get active, but they just kind of freeze. Um, and on the inside, uh, let's, let's, let's anger them again. Uh, and on the inside, it'll be, it's a little difficult to tell, but if I look at the inside, you notice nobody spawns on the actual inside because it's too close to me, to the player, to act for them to actually spawn. They'll run through it, and they use it as a path to get to the, uh, the drop spots. I also have a few spots. I put in extra trap doors to, to minimize this, but, um, I do get occasional baby zombie pigmen, um standing on these trap doors here not quite sure what to do about that i've tried a few different things and haven't come up with any but it's just it's really just a few and i can sit here and sort of tag them and uh and and get rid of them so i sort of looked at i don't want these guys in the back hanging out back there right because they're not they're not 
they they're aggravated, I think, but they're not acting on it because they're too far away. And notice that guy just despawned. So they will eventually, they have a chance eventually of despawning. Um, and I suppose if I move in closer, I can I can sort of trigger them like that. That was a good example. Like this guy, if I try to get closer, maybe. But I gotta keep moving around. And this is exactly the center spot. So it seems to me that the rings are just a little bit too wide. They go a little bit too far back and there's nothing actually spawning on the inside. So it's just taking up resources and it takes up a lot of, re I mean, you know, stone is relatively cheap. Blocks are cheap. Um, so looking at the wiki, it seems like there's no point in having any blocks closer than 24 blocks from here or any blocks that are farther from than, oh gosh, I can't remember. I think it's 32 so I'm thinking why don't we just build the uh, why don't we just build it to be that size so instead of modifying this oops creative so instead of modifying this um, I decided to build copies and modify them so let's jump down here and this is where having elytra is nice so I came out over here and I built 120 plus blocks away and I don't know all the stuff was just laying on the ground there um, so this I actually built a drop uh, drop shoots and I started playing around with the design so these are thinner they're not as thick. They take they they take up less. They take up about half the blocks. Pop. Uh, they take up about half the blocks, but pretty much all of them are spawnable. There's only a few spots, like on the lowest ring and the uppermost ring. The very outside row of blocks might actually be too far. Um, they might be too far. But I put the same front facing on here. So basically all of the pigment here are able to move. Oops, I knocked him off. And there and there's as many spaces. I think there's more active spawning spaces here. But then that starts happening. Like it takes a while to set up that sort of critical chain reaction. And notice that basically all of the aggro pigmen ran off and died before the new guys behind them spawned. It's almost like it's too it's too effective. So by sitting up here and pegging them a few times, they do eventually sort of continue the the aggro chain reaction, but it takes a few times. It takes a little bit of work. And then there are times when they'll sit there for 10 seconds or so and then remember that they're aggravated. And I think part of it is one of the pigmen needs to actually look at me. Um, so I'm partially just kind of waiting on that. Come on, guys. And it's not horrible to be sitting here, you know, tagging them, but you would like this to be AFKable, right? So I'd like to be able to set them off and then walk away and let it run for a while and obviously I can't let all the stuff just sit on the floor or on the ceiling of the nether come on because um, it'll despawn so I have to go down every five minutes which is a little bit of a pain so this this to me was was an interesting challenge because it wasn't working at the same arrangement there, see, that took several seconds before the next wave happened. And while that wave's happening, we're not clearing out any of the pig bands, so no new pig bands are spawning, and it's just reducing the rate of the farm dramatically. So, and although, see, now I've got it, it'll maintain. But my guess was at that point that the pig men were essentially spawning, or they were getting off the platform too fast that they were spawning before the pigmen behind them really got a chance to spawn 
and then continue the anger wave. Okay, I have the elytra, but I don't want to die because that'll be a pain in the butt. Um, so, now the way I have this set up here, I haven't, I haven't dealt with the experience side of things. But, of course, I have it coming down here. These chutes dropping onto hoppers, covered by half slabs, so nothing can spawn on the hoppers. I have all this uh, experience. I've got all these swords, which I have, to, I have to build filters for. I have to do all kinds of stuff on the collection side yet. And I want to play with the uh, Snow Crash's um, XP bouncing system, because that uh, that's pretty cool. And here's the XP from the guys that I shot, and they fell off the backside. <laughs> now, if I'm careful down here, nothing spawns down here. If I don't leave anything in the spawnable condition. Yeah, see, lots, way too many gold swords. So I need a gold sword disposal, because they're kind of useless. Yeah, at least you can make an argument that... Uh, Golden pickaxes are kind of interesting because they're fast. Oh. Look, over 100 levels of experience. Okay. So. So, yeah. And the other, the other nice thing about having the slabs on here, besides pigment not spawning on top of the hoppers, which they do seem to do, um, the XP doesn't get caught in the hoppers. So I, I was coming in here, and now I'm going to jump around and try to get all the XP out. So this works, this works nicely. Um, if you want it primarily as a gold farm, you have to come down, and I need some sort of a sorting system, of course. Uh, but for the XP, th this thing generates a ton of XP. So... Working on the thought of maybe I need to slow, ironically, slow down the pigmen a little bit as they exit the floor. And remembering that Snow Crash had on his, although they weren't walking over it, he had little platforms coming in towards the player. Uh, so all I did was I put in little, I built the same thing. In fact, I cloned it from over there to over here. But instead of having the uh, the drops right here I put in an eight block walkway so they had to walk towards me eight blocks before they could drop and let's let them spawn up a little bit here and that does slow them down that means they can't quite come on come on oh well, uh, let's get in the right game mode. There we go. Um, so that slows them down a little bit. They have to run along here and get to the drop, and that allows guys to spawn in behind them. Well, I say that, and now it's going to make a liar out of me. But see, it does reduce the amount of time dramatically that they it takes them to get off the platforms. Okay, well, that's this is frustrating. We had another little lag in the wave there, but that hadn't been happening on my other testing. It was pretty, pretty routine. One thing that I did... Oh, come on, guys. I just shot one of your buddies. So in order to compensate for having fewer layers of half the size, come on, you guys, there you go. 
There we go. We seem to be self-sustaining without pauses now. To have half, having half the size, spawnable spots, well no, having half the size of each layer, even though I think the number of spawnable spots is the same, um, I, I added more layers. So it's about the same number of blocks to, uh, to do it. And I've been playing around with using this purper, and I think it stands out nicely against the, uh, the background of the nether. Come on, guy, I'm right here. Oh, and, and one thing I kind of mentioned earlier, I think they have to actually be able to see me in order to get aggro at me. Um, there was a... On the first one that I showed you, I was building a little box because I had a platform around here. I built a little box to um, sort of protect protect me a bit. And when I completely glassed myself in, because I wanted to be able to see them, when I completely glassed myself in, um, they were not getting aggro at me because uh, they couldn't see me. Oh, excuse me. Um, okay, this is, this is frustrating. Obviously, I'm going to have to work on this a little bit. And maybe I need to extend these a little bit more. I can go quite a bit, you know, not quite a bit, but I can go another 8, 12 blocks. Um, it means a little extra glass because I'm having to cover that. I'll have to try that and see if that makes a difference. I have to rebuild these, taking them out. Come on, guys. Okay. Well, obviously, still a little bit of work to do here, but uh, it certainly works. Do these guys not care about their babies? Yeah, so I get the baby pigmen sort of hanging out at different uh, different points here. This one I could probably fix. This one I can probably fix by bringing these blocks all the way up. Um, yeah, I'll do that. Oh, I wonder. Oh, that's worth a try. Okay, so this is this an example of something that's relatively easy to do. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. I wonder if I can put in a full block here. See what I added. Snow Crash had these. The closed trap, the open trap doors. Because the pigmen seem to think they can walk on this block. And, and if I didn't have these guys here, they could actually walk over. And some of them actually stand on those open trap doors. I wonder if I can do this. And maybe it'd be better to do it out of glass so I can actually see what's going on. But as I said before, because they need to see me... I, I don't think they can see through glass like other mobs can't. So I'm wondering if... I'm thinking the babies might still be able to stand on there. Let's, let's see what this does. Experiment time. It's 
should have done on the lower layers. So I don't get as much action up there. Yeah, let's do, do that. So on the server right now, I am, I, oops, I am uh, I'm basically gathering resources. I need a bunch of glass, more glass than I have, and I need a bunch of blocks. I actually don't have enough of any single block to, to do what I want to do. Yeah, okay. So they get there and they just stop. And occasionally push, push each other off. So that's not gonna work. Okay, interesting. Hi, dude. Um, so yeah, I'm just basically gathering and, and because of the, I like the way the purple looks against the, uh, the background of the nether. Um, I am thinking of using purper, so I have a couple purper farms set up. In the end, let's get rid of all these guys. And um, so I've just been spending time gathering up as much of that as I can. It's uh, a little slow going uh, because you have to let it grow. And I've got two kind of farms set up, and I've got uh, two sets of. Um, two sets of smelters to turn it into the the actual purple blocks. Okay, so uh, so I'm just gathering up that. I need to go collect some more sand so I can. Ah, okay, uh, so I can uh, smelt up a ton of glass. You need about, um, oh wait, yeah, uh, I need about a full chest worth of glass for the, a little more than a full chest of glass for the top. I need uh, about a full chest of blocks for each layer, so I need six full chests or three double chests. So, uh, so anyway, just gathering materials. It's slow going, but it's what's needed. It's a lot easier here in on a creative server, but we have a survival server. So anyway, that's uh, that's what's going on. Just wanted to show you that. Um, oops, hey, cooperate. There we go. So still working on tweaking the design a bit. It'll I'll have some time to do that before the uh, before I have all the resources I need. One advantage to having the walkways in is the uh, the collection area is closer, so you can uh, I have less to do in order to build. Oh, this seems less full because this was empty when I started. The other one that was completely filled with all the gold swords was not. Um, don't take this to me an indication of how effective or efficient the farm is. Um, it does not take long for it to for it to deliver quite a bit of of stuff of drops. And of course, all we really care about from this are the gold, the gold bars, and the gold nuggets. 
So I'm going to build a little sorter that sorts those out and dumps everything else into lava or something because, frankly, that's, uh, we don't need them at all. And as I was, I think I started to say, um, you can make an argument that golden pickaxes are kind of interesting in that they're faster than other types, but they don't last very long at all. So that's that's their downside. So anyway, that's that. Uh, just a little design insight into um, what I'm thinking about for the gold farm. It's probably going to look something like this. And I don't know how far. I won't have them drop all the way to the roof of the nether, but I'll have them drop pretty far. Um, I do need a little bit of space for the sorting system, which I still need to work out. But there will be an AFK point in the middle. That's basically smack dab in the middle of the rings. And... Oh, sorry. Pardon me. Um, I'm a little stuffed up. Not sure why. And it's hot as heck outside. It's, uh, we're having our first bonafide heat wave of the year. So, it's, uh, it's quite warm outside. That's why I have the air conditioning on, if you can hear it, which you probably can. Um, I hope you didn't notice it until just now when I pointed it out. Okay, let these guys wait. Let's see here. We have 75 entities, and they're almost entirely all up here, but... Did I not hit him? There we go. No, I did not. The arrow's right there. Uh-oh. I did something wrong there. I did indeed. Is that the one I tested on? I bet it is. See, I've got full-size pigmen standing on the trap doors there, so we need to fix that. But anyway, that's that. Um... I just want to show you a little bit of what I was thinking design-wise, and I'll start building this on the uh, Minecraft LAN Party server, which I'll show you as that progresses, but this is basically, or this is similar to what it's going to look like. I think it'll all be per per blocks over there. Um, Uh-oh. Was this the one? Yeah, I think it is. Anyway, that's it. Um, thank you for watching. Uh, this is Theron, and I will see you in the next episode. All right? Bye.